this morning, the snow arrived. The first heavy falls were over the hills of the north. Traffic was soon down to one lane on the A66 between Scotch Corner and Penrith. The gritters were out clearing what they could on the ribbon of road running across the bleak moors. And it wasn't long before we came across an accident. One car appeared to have spun out of control. Police were soon on the scene. So far, there hasn't been widespread disruption, but there are still warnings for drivers to be extra careful in the icy conditions. I think people need to, to be prepared for tomorrow morning. They need to prepare themselves, get up that little bit earlier, scrape the car off, throw it out, make sure they're not looking through a tiny little hole in the windscreen. In Scotland, conditions were particularly bad in Aberdeenshire, with long delays on many roads. Some schools were closed and there were several accidents, including one which left this car on its roof. Luckily, nobody was seriously hurt here. In North Yorkshire, heavy snow fell for a time in Moulton between York and Scarborough, leaving a good covering. And in Sedgefield, there was a very similar scene. Dogs need walking, whatever the weather. A few miles away in Darlington, the gritters were being refilled. Managers here say everything is going to plan. It hasn't been that bad, actually. Uh, I think we've only been out twice. Uh, I think we went out about 5 o'clock in the morning and again at 11 o'clock. The weather, the snow came, settled for a short period and then disappeared. So uh, the rock salt's working, so there's been no problems for us so far today. Tonight, large parts of eastern Britain are under a blanket of snow. But it's pitch a postcard rather than transport mayhem. And let's not forget those who love this sort of weather, like these children in the park in the centre of Harrogate this afternoon.